I think I'll have a better understanding of what the, the morning's like tomorrow. But, um, yeah, I'm proud of how I played today. It was a good fight out there. The, the golf course was extremely challenging. I mean, the greens were were very firm, very fast. And uh, it was it was extremely difficult again today. So um, probably looking looking for more of, a, more of the same tomorrow. Thank you. With that, we'll open it up for questions. Uh, Jeffrey? Scotty you, Scotty, you had um, dropped a couple shots, and then you make the big eagle at uh, 13. We, we saw some nice emotion there on that green. Just take us through what you were releasing there. Yeah, well, you know, I made the turn. Um, I felt like I missed some opportunities there on 8 and 9. And uh, then I hit what was a decent shot into 10. It lands, you know, obviously I wasn't trying to land it back there by the pin, but I get a, a bad gust, and it lands 8 feet from the pin, and it ends up in the bushes back there, and I make double. Um, and then make another bogey there at 11, and all of a sudden I'm probably going from in the lead to a few out of the lead, and then, um, you know, things can happen pretty fast out there. And, uh, you know, going to number 12, hit another good shot, and it just went over the green and hit a nice pitch, and all of a sudden I'm looking at another seven-footer for par, and, you know, I knocked that one in, and then um, that putt on 13 – it was nice because it was trickling up there towards the cup, but I didn't know whether or not it was going to get there, and it kind of just nudged, nudged right over the edge and went in. So it was it was exciting, and you know um, it was nice to be able to steal a couple shots there on 13 and kind of get back in the tournament. Jeff, Scotty, uh, the back nine played a couple shots over par today, and the, you know even though the wind was kind of quiet for you guys on the back, it, it looked like a few times you looked at some some cups like 14 that you thought were were just in weird spots. Was it was it just really tough hole locations? Uh, I mean, the greens just got ridiculously fast and firm. Um, the reason I was looking at 14 is because I'm putting down that hill. It wasn't that it was at a weird location. It was just, I mean, it was basically like putting up to a, like a small volcano there. Um, that's That can happen at the end of the day when, um, you know, you have a lot of guys stepping there to pick their ball up out of the hole. You know, the area around the cup will become lower and the cup will, will raise a bit. That one was a bit more aggressive than I've seen. Like if you watch my putt from behind, you can see it kind of going up towards the cup and then it just like rides the side of it and, and goes off. Um, Cause I thought I had a chance to go in it. I mean, it didn't even come close, uh, but yeah, it was, it was very challenging out there, but you know, it's a major championship. I don't think Augusta wants their golf course to be very easy. So um. <laughs> <laughs> Brentley. Scotty, two years ago, you had a pretty emotional Masters Sunday morning, and you kind of credited Meredith for helping you get in the right state of mind. What do you anticipate tomorrow morning being like with her not here and with, with Sam uh, no longer here with you either? Uh, yeah, it, it'll be a little different. Um, I didn't want to be alone at the house, so I recruited a few of my friends to come stay with me that were in town. So we got a couple of my close buddies at the house. Um, you know, it's kind of the, the same group that's been in the Bahamas with us the last few years. And um, they came over this morning, maybe some breakfast, and we hung out, and then I came to the course. And so um, it'll just be more of that tomorrow, probably calm air and, and chill and relax. But, yeah, I didn't want to be in a house all by myself, um, you know, this weekend. didn't really seem like like that exciting to me. So I'd rather have some, some friends staying with me. 